All right, people, here we go. A round two PS4 matchup. But today, man, we have the number two ranked fighter, Romero17. Oh, yeah, and he's going up against a three piece with a soda. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. Oh yes, we are back for another PS4 tournament matchup. And before we get started, people, you know what really ticks me off? That Masvidal, Jorge Masvidal, started that whole a three-piece with the soda thing. And two years ago, I started the three-piece with the macaroni salad. And all of a sudden, he gets all the props and he gets all the respect for his line. And nobody remembers my line. Maybe just because... I'm not at his level, and that's that's the reality. But um, we have a huge matchup here: Romero versus a three-piece in a soda, three-piece with a soda. And so here we go. And on a side note, as they're just getting their sweat on here, man, I love KFC for all you people that do not know. And it was so crazy. Like back in the day, I had an obsession with macaroni salad. That um, when we would order KFC, yeah, this is story time. We would order KFC. I would help put away the KFC uh, leftovers in the fridge and I would hide the macaroni salad and I would actually guard the fridge and when people would walk by the fridge and open it up, I would always be like, oh, there's nothing to see here, nothing to see here, only milk and butter, only milk and butter and I would hide it and when everybody would leave to go to work or school, I would bust out the macaroni salad and just enjoy it, man, with a yeah, plastic fork. <laughs> it's not the same when you use a regular fork from your... Uh, from your kitchen but anyway after all that story time after all that talking Romero gets a nice drop and here we go man this is Romero's game plan oh nice reversal by a three-piece and a three-piece with the soda this guy is really good he really is good man and again I don't want to speculate but I don't know if this is somebody's alt alternate account or what, but this is not going to be an easy fight for Romero 17. And, you know, he's ranked second in this tournament. Ed Parker's ranked first. And, you know, this is just not going to be a cakewalk. And in this whole tournament, man, I must say, I must send the love to everybody that's in this tournament, that participated in this tournament. The, the level of competition is just through the roof. I've never seen such high level stuff in this game and, and you know you can credit to the uh, the people that play the game the dedication but also the amount of time that this game's been out too it's given people ample opportunity to you know perf you know get their uh, kinks out and perfect their game that's interesting that little push with the kick yeah, I don't do that I feel like that's not part of the Ricky J rhythm ooh slipped on ice there <laughs> but it looks like here that a three-piece he's doing a nice job man he's doing a nice job settling into this fight and look at Romero this is what Romero does this is what Romero does he he puts all the components of mixed martial arts into his game plan and utilizes them and for me I'll tell you man I, I don't initiate clinches the chicks don't dig the clinch. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I don't initiate the clinch. I feel like it leaves me susceptible to takedowns, and it gets my stamina down, man. It really does. It gets my stamina down. I don't want that. I want to keep my stamina as high as I feel right now. Natural high, by the way. I want to keep my stamina high, so... So here we go. You got to give that round to Romero. And Romero is a very systematic striker, man. He's not Swiss Lebox. He's not going to try to trade with you. He's not going to try to take you out in that first round. He's going to pick you apart. Nice takedown. You know what would be a great matchup to see is... Uh, Romero versus FCB, man. I don't know if you saw FCB's fight. And you never know, man. They could be on a collision course to meeting at some point in this tournament. But this is what Romero does, man. He wears you down. Wow, what a... See what he did there? What a denial by Romero. And you, you never... 
Usually you don't see people deny that. And this must wear on your confidence, doesn't it? When guys doing this. Look at that. Oh, nice. The belly to belly suplex. That was nice. Wow. Gets the mount. And this is a fight, man. This is definitely a fight. And Romero's probably thinking, geez, I have to bring my A game in. You have to, man. You can't be watching TV on the side and, uh, you know, getting these fights in and expect to win. And for all you people that don't know, I do all of my editing in my living room. So I don't have my computer in, like, an office, man. I'm a community guy, a family guy. So I have my computer in the corner of our living room. So I always have the TV. You know, you have our TV in the middle of the room and then the computer's in the side of the room. Um, so sometimes I get distracted when I'm playing this game. But um, if you're wondering why I do that, is because I always want to be with the family. So if we're watching kid shows or, <laughs> uh, you know, really bad reality TV and I want to work on the channel, I can do both. I can multitask. So I think it's a good plan. I wouldn't change it, man. I wouldn't want to be in a, in a room in the house just because then you're isolated and you miss all the action, all the fun action in the house. But anyway... Back to the fight. I'm off on story time Ricky today, man. Let me know if you enjoy me telling stories. I feel like I'm in a storytelling mood today. I don't know what it is. It's early in the morning. I'm drinking coffee. Today I'm respecting the bean and no sugar, no cream. Just simply black. You got to respect the bean, man. But look at this. You know, at this point right here, Romero could be in a little bit of trouble, man. Look at this. Wow, a three-piece with the soda. This guy, holy cow. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, maybe I'm allergic to the ground game. <laughs> That's a better round for a, a three-piece with the soda. Great job right there, man. Great job. Respect shown. Here we go. Are they going to both show respect? No. The quick respect action. And maybe what we'll see here is Romero just trusting that stand-up game. But three pieces. Holy cow. They are so even. And that's the problem with these people that <laughs> come up with these new login names that, you know, you just, you don't know just how good they are because they're just, un they're unknowns, man. And in my opinion, a three-piece, he should be right up there in the top ten in this tournament as far as the rankings are concerned. Because Romero's ranked second. And this guy is putting up just a fantastic fight. I still give the edge to Romero, just what I'm seeing so far in this fight, but a three-piece is really finding his way, getting that sweat on. I don't know if you ever played high-level sports, but believe it or not, people, you're going to think this is crazy. I won MVP in high school for basketball twice um, for my team, and I also won MVP in baseball, so I'm a pretty decent athlete, and especially in basketball, the first quarter was always tough for me because I wouldn't get that second win, that sweat on. But once I would get that sweat on and then go out there and play, I felt like I could play all day. So you know what I started doing? Right early at the gym, get on the uh, the treadmill and just run for 15 minutes. So then I have that second wind when the first quarter starts. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a little... Uh, Cool little uh, Ricky J insider, man. I'm six foot two, so <laughs> my dog's barking. Maybe fine, six foot one and a half. Sorry, he's like <laughs> caught me on my lie. But yeah, I'm about six two, so you know I was able to dunk too. I was six two, hundred and back in high school, I was 165 pounds, so I was able to get lift off, man. But right here in this fight, man, this is anybody's fight, brother. Anybody's battle. 
Who's going to get that wobble? Who's going to get that drop? And they're right in there looking for it, aren't they? Overhands. Oh, he's getting the dirty takedown. Nice. That's a la Ed Paca. That nice little over-under takedown defense. And who gets this fight, man? If it stays like this, here we go. Lock it happen in 20 or so seconds. What is going on? Nice. Oh boy, are you willing to take that chance? <laughs> this is cartwheel kick timer. Flying knee time. Oh man, who won that fight? I don't know, I think I kind of give it two rounds to one for Romero. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who do you think won this fight? It was so close. Here we go. Let's hope they don't fast forward. I hate when people do that. That's a, That should be another rule. If it gets to a decision, don't push anything. We like to see this. Here we go. What's Brucey going to say? Here we go. Oh, yeah, Dominic. Romero takes it unanimous. Yeah, I think that I think they got it, but it was close. It was a close, close fight. Holy cow. So here we go now. <laughs> we are in for a treat right here. Busting out Khabib versus Dos Anjos. So just so you guys know, Dos Anjos is a three-piece. And Romero is Habib. And I have mad respect for people that use Rafael Dos Anjos. I can't use him, man. I don't know. I just feel like he doesn't compliment my style. And that uh, weak chin, I don't know. It's just not inviting for me to use him. If you're wondering, my guys. Oh, boy. Nice. Looks like uh, Romero's throwing some heavy haymaker. My guys are Cruz. I like Diaz, Jacare. Who else? Um, Holly Holm. Sorry, he's not a guy. And, um, oh, nice. Sometimes I'll roll with a little Machida. And then Benny Saunders and Neil Magny. Oh, wow. What? He's going to tie it up. Oh. Wow. And people were saying that, you know what, Ricky, if people drop out, there should be a worthy loser that can get a buyback into this tournament. And in my opinion, one of these guys, whoever goes out, <laughs> should get that buyback. Really? These guys are just so even. And they can give anybody a run for their money. Even Mr. Ed Paca. Whoa, what happened there? Did you guys notice that? <laughs> it kind of like glitched out. But this is what I'm thinking. I was just <laughs> I was processing in my head, doing a little update in my head, that this is where Romero will start going for, for his wrestling action. Because he's planting the seed that maybe he wants to brawl. And then when you start forgetting about his wrestling, this is when he's going to throw down a nice little takedown. That's why he has Habib. Khabib. He's not using Khabib to box. Or am I wrong? Nice combo right there. See that? Oh, what takedown defense by a three-piece. I'm really liking... I already know about Romero's game. I already know Romero's a lead and he's awesome, but I'm really liking what I'm seeing about a three-piece with the soda. Nice takedown, but I hope he's not some alt. So I hope someone's like, oh no, you know what, that's so-and-so. I hope he's somebody new and mad respect to you, man. You're doing awesome. Let's see if he can get out of this position. Oh, and he's gonna get saved by the bell. Screech time, baby. Good job. Good job. You know what? I would give that round to a three-piece, man. He got that that drop, right? 
almost finish the fight. So he's sitting pretty good, man. He's sitting pretty good. And if he could force a third fight, you never know. You just never know. Especially when you're this good, when both these guys are this good. All it takes is uh, a little luck, a little quick reaction times. And you have a chance. But you know what? I would stop throwing all those kicks. And that's what I do, too. When I know I'm facing a guy that's a wrestler, I just focus on boxing. Because then you feel more balanced, and the takedowns are harder to get. Nice, sneaking in the knees. It's interesting how Romero loves to switch stands. But the only thing that's... The th three pieces. It's not him. It's more Dos Anjos, That head health. Every time he gets touched, his head blinks. He's doing a good job. Good. He's good defensively. He's touching up the legs a little bit. You know what I wish they added in the game? That when you throw leg kicks, that you can still keep your guard up. I don't know, but then everybody will be blocking all the punches. Wow, this is so even. It just looks like here Romero's trying to counter the combos. Nice duck under right there. And they're both swinging. Both looking to break down the block. Nice. Oh, yeah. Ooh, going for a takedown. He's a little too far out. And those ankle picks are tough. And Romero's just trying to wear him down, just try to touch up that belly. Oh, man. That's what I say, man. All it takes is one little mistake. Oh my gosh, and this is where he, there's the hole in the old boat. <laughs> Start getting the buckets. He's sinking down. Oh my god. Looks like this fight could be done. Oh, it's such a shame. Oh, but no way. Don't look now. Stop looking at the clock. What a job by a three piece. He is firing back, people. He is looking to either go down with a swing or I don't know what else man what am I trying to say he's going down with a shield that was a great flurry man I wouldn't mind seeing some more feints though from a three piece cat trying to catch Romero off guard but what a round so if you give that first round to a three piece with a soda second round who do you give that round to it's kind of a toss-up because both guys got hurt. So if you're in a three-pieces corner, do you kind of coast in this third round? Or do you just continue to do what you do and just go right into the uh, the dragon's mouth right here and start swinging and start throwing? Romero is going to be looking to amp things up a little bit, but he's got to be mindful of his head health. Oh, nice elbow. And again, in my opinion, I really believe that a three-piece would do a lot better if he stopped throwing kicks. And he's hurt here. I mean, this is where he starts turning into Forrest Griffin, Stephen Bonner. Remember that? <laughs> All it took was Forrest Griffin... To just get popped a couple of times and then he turned into zombie mode and both guys are getting rocked. Holy Dos Anjos. Looked like he had too many tequilas there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and Romero's trying to get a little fancy looking for that one punch KO. In my opinion here, three pieces in trouble, man. Oh, nice slip straight. He may have to start doing that. He may have to start rolling the dice and doing that. Oh man, just seems like every time Romero touches him, he's getting wobbled. What a fight, man. This is a great brawl. 
Ooh, what happened there? Seems like it's just hic hiccuping just a little bit. Look at this. Oh! Oh my gosh, this guy is not out. Down, but not out, brother. Wow. Now this is anybody's fight. What a battle. This is one of the best fights we've seen in the second round. Both guys laying it all here in the octagon. Oh boy, but those rounds, oh my gosh. And Romero being the gentleman that he is does not pounce on a hurt, a three-piece with a soda. What a fight. What a fight. It's really unfortunate that a three-piece had to face Romero only in the second round. Maybe we'll see. I'm no guarantees, but maybe we'll see if people drop out later on in the tournament. We'll let a three-piece jump right back in because he's so deserving of, um, you know, of being deeper into this tournament. That's for sure. But what a job by Romero. This is why this guy is one of the best in the world. And he showed that. Showcasing good, good clinch game, ground game and stand-up game and I'm sure he's probably telling people you think I'm just a grappler I could stand with you and I could blow your head off baby <laughs> what a performance but anyway I'll end off this video have a great day guys man stay tuned here for more UFC 3 action tell your friends let's get my subscriber count a little up there I know it's kinda getting a little uh, it's getting stagnant these days but that's okay man but if we can get the word out there we can get more subs on this channel and grow the channel and just make it uh, the best that we can make it all right people have a great day guys this is ricky j baby from ricky j sports and you are awesome
Sometimes I look at myself and say, Self, you're so good looking. Let's do a mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Maka 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 mic check. Maka 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 mic check. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba 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 check. This is a mic 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 check. KFC chicken. KFC chicken. KFC chicken. KFC chicken. It's good in the morning. It's good in the evening. It's good at night and when you're sleeping. K k k KFC. K k k k KFC. It's good when it's cold. Better when it's hot. You know that, and I don't wanna stop. K k k k KFC. 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 Two guys were fighting in a gym. One guy was wearing a UFC shirt, and the other guy walked away, and he says, "Oh yeah, your body says KFC. No, your teeth. Oh, I don't even get it right. Let me rewind that." Two guys are fighting at a gym. One guy's hogging all the machines. The yeah, one guy was wearing a UFC shirt with a big belly on. The guy got upset. The other guy got upset and walked away and told the guy with the big fat guy with the UFC shirt and says, "Oh yeah, well your T-shirt says UFC, but your body says KFC."